924. Welcome back to part 30 of Yakuza Kiwami. We are here in Kamarocho where we are about to embark on a subplot with, I believe his name is Shinohara, if I'm correct. And we're about to go out and have some dinner with him. Um, little fact that I didn't know, that he's a real person. Like, this is a real person. He's, I guess he's a fighter, I guess. Um, I didn't, I didn't read too much about him, but I guess he's based off of a real person, which is pretty cool. Didn't know that. Here we are. This is the place for meats in Kamarocho. Wow, it looks pretty expensive. Are you gonna be okay picking up the tab here? Wait, what? <laughs> just kidding. I've got money, so just enjoy yourself. Uh, sure. <clears throat> Let's do this. Welcome, can I take your order? Yes, I'll take everything. You mean you like one of everything on the item menu, sir? Of course not. I want an amount of meal equal to the mass of one full-grown cow. Uh, what? I mean, of course, sir. Um, would you like it with sauce or salt and pepper? That's good. Both. Both? Wait. You mean you want two cows? Right. Yeah. Right away then, sir. I guess he's hungies. Wow, that was really delicious. What a great choice. You certainly have a way with food. Not many people out there would could eat two entire cows of meat. Anyway, what do you want to do next? Mm. I'd like to get some drinks, actually. Drinks. Okay, I know a good bar near here. I can take you there if you want. Mada, mada. Oh, come on. A bar? You should know better than that. Kill you, son. Many. Huh? If we're going to drink a Kamurocho, it's got to be at the Cabaret Club. Uh. Oh, uh, right. I understand now. I've always wanted to go to a Cabaret Club. So this is my golden opportunity. Please, take me there. <clears throat> well, if you certainly have no shame, that's for sure. I suppose the closest one would be Jewel, so we can give that a shot. Hey! Okay. Okay, so we're going to Jewel then, which is right here. Yep. I guess we're just spending date with him, which is fine. We actually haven't been in this place yet. Well, we're here. Let's have a good fight. Good. Oh, whoa. Why are you yelling? Uh, oh, sorry. Oh, have a die hard. I used to always yell when I entered a room. <sighs> well, you're going to have to relax, okay? I don't want you getting drunk and judo throwing anyone. <laughs> wow, you're so well built. Do you play sports? Yeah. Well, sort of. A long time ago, I did. <laughs> oh, I love a man with some muscle tone. <laughs> well, I drink to that. Shall we have... Champagne. Oh, what a dynamic man. One gold for this fine piece of man. Yeah. Oh, wait. Hold that order. Oh. Uh, oh. You didn't want the gold? No, that's not at all. But just one bottle? Let's not be stingy here. <laughs> Let's see. I'm sure the four of us could take on our own bottle each. So I think we need four golds. <laughs> wow, you know how to party, Shinohara-san. <laughs> you heard the man, four bottles of gold. Oh, he's a huge spender, too. Big spender with big appetites. <laughs> didn't you, didn't think you were the type of to order just Four bottles of champagne like that. I mean, you sure know how to liven up a cabaret. <laughs> nah, that was nothing out of the ordinary. 
If I go drinking, that's how I'm gonna do it. <clears throat> uh huh. I guess you're just an all around party animal then. So, uh, what do you wanna do next? Mm. What's wrong? You didn't like the club? Yeah. No, that's not it. Dinner and drinks were a lot of fun, but, uh, I haven't found anything that's really excited me yet. Nanny. You're looking for excitement? Yeah. Well, there's no point coming all the way to Kamurocha to have the same kind of fun I could have anywhere. I want to try something only a city like this could offer. A one-of-a-kind experience. <clears throat> oh, okay. I see, so the normal tourist attractions will cut it. Yeah. Right. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be ungracious when you're gone so far every way to show me around. My whole life, judo is all I've known. And I'm sure you can see why I'm totally lost in nightlife town. But I still want to find something more geared toward my interests. Mm. I suppose you wouldn't find a place like that too easily. Actually, I, I might have an idea. What? Really? Uh. Yeah, I think I know a place like that will be pretty exciting for a martial artist like you. You really think so? Please, take me there. So there's only one place I know in Kamurocha that can satisfy judo masters like Shinohara, and that's where I'll take him. And the only place actually that comes to mind is over in Purgatory, actually. So we probably should head over there. And it's only proper that we continue the quests instead of doing new quests. Uh, but we actually need to go there, to Purgatory. Ooh. So maybe we should drop it for the moment. Until, uh, we need to go near there. Which is fine. We can always pick it back up later. There's something in here, though. Apparently. <sighs> oh my goodness. It's all over for me. Hmm? What's that guy's problem? What? Hey, you. What's the matter? You're looking pretty depressed. <sighs> oh, nothing's the matter. Just leave me be. This is it. I may as, I may as well just hang myself. Just talk to me about it already. Sometimes that can calm you down. Yeah. May as well tell you. The thing is, I... I lost my company's incredibly confidential documents. I had them stored in a briefcase, but I have, must have left it somewhere. Sounds rough, but, uh... Is that really something you need to hang yourself over? Of course I do! The company will fire me and I will be left with nothing but my miserable failure of an existence. I don't expect you to understand a salary man's pain. It's all over. <sighs> Come on, don't you think you're being a little, eh, dramatic? It's not like the briefcase fell into a bottomless pit or something. Have you even looked for it? Eh. Of course. I searched this city from top to bottom, but someone must have taken it because it's gone. <sighs> now all of my company's top secret documents are going to leak to the public and death will have its retribution. Ha. Huh. Hmm? Wait a second. Didn't that homeless guy in the park give me a briefcase? The homeless man said he found a briefcase. <laughs> what? Hey, is uh this your briefcase? It, it, yes. That's it. Wh why do you have it? Uh. Uh, I gave a drum some sake, and then who gave me a coat that I gave to a homeless guy who gave me some glasses. That I gave to a salary man who gave me some tape that. Well, never mind. <laughs> oh, the inside is all counted for, too. Well, okay. I'm just really glad it turned up, but. But, uh. You didn't look inside, did you? <laughs> <laughs> I never opened it. Oh, that's. that's a relief. You literally saved my life, I know. I know I want. I want you to have this. Isn't this pretty expensive? 
Are you sure? Hi. Of course. You came to my rescue in the greatest crisis I've ever encountered, so this is truly the least I can do. I gotta get back to work. Thank you so much. The sake. The worn-out coat. The glasses. The super adhesive tape. The briefcase. And now, this expensive watch. I don't know how, but I turned a cheap bottle of alcohol into an expensive watch. <laughs> I guess one good turn really does deserve another. That's true. That was a really long sub-story that we've done for multiple episodes. It didn't give us much either. It gave us only a thousand experience points. Regardless, let's see what other sub-stories can we turn up around this place. Actually, there's a ton of stuff here. Holy crap. Um, there's one at the bowling alley. There's the Miso King stuff. But uh, we need more um, uh, Miso King cards to do that. So we'll just head to the bowling alley, looks like. And see what we got to do there. I imagine it's bowling. And if that's true, that's cool. If it's not bowling, that's also fine. We just gotta get there. And then once we do that little subplot over here, we'll start heading to Purgatory again for the other sub-quests. Apparently the uh, main story as well, because that's also in the way. So it's either inside here or a phone call from Yuya. Is that main plot stuff? Nope. Okay. Yuna's girlfriend has a stage performance somewhere on Pink Street. Maybe I'll stop by. Where's Pink Street? Ah, over here. That's cool. We'll stop by after this little bowling stuff. Neat. We haven't seen Yuya in quite some time, so that's nice. Oops. Hmm? There we go. It's not bowling after all. <sighs> How many times has it been? That man keeps mumbling about a sign. Uh, I guess I'll see what's wrong. Well, the free tea again. What should I do? Good. Keep mumbling about your sign. Is something the matter? Well, I'm at a loss here. I'm the owner of this cafe, but uh, someone keeps spraying graffiti over my sign. No matter how many times I clean it up, I wish I could do something. I mean, this town has a lot of hoodlums. Maybe they enjoy watching you spend a lot of time cleaning your, your sign? Well, I know. Could you keep watch? You look like you're good at fighting. Nanny. What? I think you will be able to catch whoever's doing this. I'll compensate you, of course. How about it? <sighs> I, I guess so. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> wow. You know what? I'm pretty glad I asked. By the way, my name is Ogawa. My name is Kiryu. Okay, Kiryu-san. Could you keep watch here? I have to run to the cafe. Uh. Sure. Thank you very much, Kiryu-san. But if I stay out in the open, the culprit won't show up. I should have leave for a bit and come back. Well, if that's the truth, Let's go in the bowling alley and come back.
Or I guess we just leave this way. I wonder how far we have to go. Oh, there we go. Boy. Hey. Huh? What? what? What do you want? Did you just tag that sign? Uh, nope. It wasn't me. Hey, wait. Ah. Uh. Get back here. Damn. I went off toward Taihi Boulevard West. Let's go get him. <laughs> I wonder where he could be. That's the guy who was tagging the cafe sign. There you are. Uh, uh, who the hell are you? Look, I've got no business with you. I need to talk to the kid hiding behind you. Uh? Whoa, whoa. So you think you can screw the Yakuza, huh? You know who you're messing with? Whatever. But don't worry. You'll learn soon enough. Okay. If that's a, if that's your choice. Oh, you get to join in the fight, huh, Ken? That's cute. You made a mistake. Why are you harassing the cafe, huh? Did you put that kid up to all this? No. That's not actually... Stop stalling and answer me. I was just teaching them a lesson because they wouldn't pay our protection money. Strictly business, you know how it is. Besides, the kid is the owner's son. Nanny. What? Huh? Hey, shut up! So what if I am? Usually a kid doesn't tag a cafe run by their own father, so you must have a reason. Am I to understand this? No, I don't. <sighs> Fine, I get it. I want to become a graphic designer, but my old man keeps bugging me about taking over the family business instead. So I wanted to teach him a lesson. And you decided to do that by hanging out with the Yakuza who want to harass the cafe for protection money? Eh. Yeah. <sighs> if you have all this time to waste on petty vandalism, why not spend it on a heart-to-heart -heart with your father? Yeah, right. Pops only has the cafe on his mind. That's why I'm trying to make a statement. That'll get through to him. Well, if you can take initiative to do that, I think you have to, what it takes to let him know how serious you are. Look, I'm sure your father isn't asking you to take over the family business lightly. So, if you tell him how serious you are about graphic design, your father will understand, don't you think? <laughs> it's up to you, kid. Y you're right. I'll let Pops know how I feel. How serious I am. Uh. Good. Yeah, I probably should go see how that ends. I'm pleasantly surprised that it's not bowling stuff, though, which is cool. It's an actual sub story. Ah, Gary san My boy came clean about the graffiti. I never would have guessed it was my own son. <laughs> and I'm sure he had his reasons, though. <laughs> Yes, he told me that too. Perhaps it was good that I was so stubborn. Well, the vandalism is wrong, but I have to admit he's got a good sense of design and knack for painting. <laughs> well, I'm glad that your father recognized your passion. 
This is a token of my appreciation. Thank you, Kill You Son. I'm going to talk with my son more often. Uh. Yeah, unless you have a heart to heart sometimes, you'll never get through to each other. Eh. You're right. I'll try to see things eye to eye with Pops. The communication is key. If they figure that out from this incident, that's a huge step. Good luck with your dream. Gave us a nice chunk of XP so we can get some stuff. Okay, with that out of the way, let's head over to Pink Street to help out Yuya. Well, we're not really helping him out. We're just kind of going to go hang out with him. And the way they made it sound, it's probably going to be a voice one, so that's pretty cool. Over, okay, we're just going to follow the street for a little longer. Okay, there's Yuya. Yo, Yuya. Omae no kanoju ga butai ni teru ndatte? So nan desu yo. Kite moraete ureshii desu. Jitsu wa koko de ore no onna ga kore kara odoru ndesu yo. Miyu te yun desu kedo ne. Yokatta ra issho ni dou desu. Mochiron go shoutai desu. ゆうやの女が出る舞台ってのは勝負の事だったんだ。しょ。たまにはいいかもな。でしょでしょ。人間生き抜きも必要ですからね。では、案内します。Okay, so where are we going? In here? もう踊り始まってますよ。早く行きましょう。キリュウさん。今踊ってた彼女、ミユって言うんです。今度機会があったらゆっくり紹介しますよあれでなかなか人気なんですよほうそうなのか俺も最初はただのファンだったんですけどねまあいろいろあってあもう次の子の始まります今日が初舞台の新人らしいですね続きまして白鳥うららの登
Uh, you're pretty much nothing compared to some of the other people we fought. Get up! ああ、なんとか。お前は？うん、こっちはなんだったの？今の。何者だ？自分の胸に聞いてみるんだな。なんだお前は？うわ！見よ。ゆうや。親殺し系。Patriarch killer? Are we getting blamed for... We're getting blamed for the patriarch dying? Excuse me? Hmm. I mean, wasn't that Nishikiyama? I mean, it's kind of heavily implied it was him. Yuya-san! <laughs> Where 公園前通りにある誤解所です。公園前通りの誤解所だな。分かった。ミュウが、ミュウが危ないんです。俺、黙って見てるなんてできません。ミュウさん、俺に何かあったら、あとお願いします。待て、俺が行くまで動くな。
で終わりじゃねえぞ、キリュウ。親殺しの落印はな、てめえがくたばるまで消えやしねえんだ。背負ってくさ10年前にそう決めた桐生さん巻き込んじまって悪かったな龍也もう俺に近づかない方がいいなんて言っていいか分かんないっすけど桐生さん何でもかんでも背負い込んじまって俺にはまねできないですよ桐生さんあの何かお礼したいんですけど今こんなものしかバカお前そんなもん渡してどうすんだよだってー We got a free pass for Asia Ha、huh. We got a bunch of XP as well What a reward And I think this is probably a good spot where we can end today's episode of Yakuza Kiwami. Hope you guys all enjoyed today's episode of Yakuza. If you guys did, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment. Tell me you guys think of today's episode. If you're new to my channel or watch me for a little while and you haven't done so as of yet, feel free to subscribe to me, Mad Squash 924 over on YouTube where my channel is over there. And don't forget to ring the bell to get notified of my latest videos. On the next episode, we have a lot of things over here, including uh, uh, Shino's, Shinohara, as I say his name, Shinohara. We have to hang out with him. There's the main plot over here, and I think it's this kid over here that I see right there is the next one, too. So, I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.